And that's one of my favorite moves, you know, going down the hill. In and out? The in and out for sure, going left. Well, Brad, we sat here a year ago and we were talking about your three-point shot. Right. This year we're going into the paint where you're finishing at more than 60% of your shots are going through the basket this season at the rim, and that ranks only third uh, on the team behind Gordon Hayward and Jalen Brown. So finishing at a high rate around the basket, and you're playing through a lot of contact. Yeah. Uh, so tell me why you think that is the case, that you're able to finish around the rim at such a high rate and especially through contact. Uh, my job is to come in and just try to change momentum or uh, keep the boat steady. And um, what's been open for me a lot of times is transition layups or uh, just going downhill, you know, penetrating the lane and, you know, just trying to get something good for the team. You know, obviously, and I've been finishing some plays. So talk to me about the importance of getting downhill and how that affects the rest of this this drive and finish. Um, well, it's a play we like to run in transition called single, and we coming off an angle going downhill against the big. You know, I hit, hit him with an in and out and kind of got him off balance. And once I got the angle on him, you know, I try to give a little step so he won't be able to come back and block the shot. And, and that's one of my favorite moves, you know, going down the in and out. The in and out for sure, going left. You know, people see, know that I'm right-handed, but they don't know that I like to go uh -huh. left. So that was one of those situations where it was a comfortable move for me. Uh, the big bit a little bit on the in and out, and I just got it up high enough where he can return and block it. All right, this is another different play, and I don't even want to talk to you about the beautiful scoop and finish on the finger roll here, <laughs> but what I want to talk about is what happens afterward. What is this? And then you see in the background, I think that's Javante Green. Yeah. He's giving you the same because this isn't the first time I've seen this this year. So what is this thing that you guys are doing? My boy Javante and Tice, they, uh, we always celebrate sometimes on the layups. Like me and Tice got a thing, like when, even when I was making a left-hand layup, we uh -huh. always do this because we all both say we ain't got no left hand. <laughs> so me and Tice, if you ever see him make a left hand layup or me do something on my left hand, we always do this. But if we miss it, we like, we do this, like chop your left hand off. Okay. But um, in this situation, you know, I went, and the big was coming over, so I scooped it up like a hot scoop layup, like Florida kind of thing. Uh huh. And it was one of the things like, go get it, big fella. In my opinion, you're playing the best pure backup point guard basketball of any backup point guard that wow. Brad Stevens has had here in Boston this season. Wow. So appreciate continue that. to roll, continue to roll as a team. Brad Wanamaker, thanks. Thank for you, time. man. I appreciate that.